Well, hey there, YouTube. JT Serenity Farms prepping here. So, nature is a wonderful thing. It can provide us with everything we need. What am I talking about? Okay. Well, looky here. Nice white pine. What have we got here? <laughs> the same. Okay, where am I going with this? All right. There it is. So, rumor has it, hang on one sec. Okay. <laughs> rumor has it, there's some nasty crap maybe going around and people are doing stupid things and then they're acting like a dog trying to get rid of their winter fur and they're leaving it all over the place with everyone they come in contact with and it's worse than the real thing so that smells very good so nature just may have the solution let's go inside and I'll see you show you what I mean okay so what do we have here well, I picked approximately two tablespoons off the tree. Now what I'm gonna do is get rid of the ends. Don't need those in there. The little brown ones, we don't need those, all right? Then I'm gonna take the rest and I'm gonna cut them up into about half inch pieces doesn't have to be exact you don't even have to cut them if you don't want to some people put these in tea bags and some people just put them into a pot of boiling water which is what I'm gonna do all right so now they're in there and I'm going to stir the water around and I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I'm going to turn off the water and let it steep for five minutes and I will get back to you. All right, so it's been steeping about five minutes. Now I have one of these handy dandy coffee filter maker things so I just have a regular coffee filter this will allow it to drain into my coffee cup so I'm going to pour let it fill up Any needles will be caught by the filter. I am trying to pour it so that none of them make it, but this pour is going to make it. Start 
to fold over. I can see a couple needles trapped. There we go. Wow, that smells really good. <laughs> a really good whiff there. So as you can see, as it all drains out, there'll be just a few needles in there. The rest of them pretty much stayed in the bottom of the pot. I have a full cup of flavored tea. Let me sample. Very mild, slight hint of pine. Coincidentally, <laughs> now let's go in the other room and discuss this elixir, shall we? Okay, so I have my tea. Very slight aroma, very slight hint of pine flavor. You can add some honey, some cinnamon, uh, just some creamer, just some sugar, a little mix of all of them. It's up to you to accommodate your particular taste. It's very good just like this. stays with you a little while but it's very smooth it's not overpowering so as an avid hiker camper outdoor enthusiast and prepper you know in my backpack I always have a little camp stove uh, it's certainly a way to make a fire I always have the little coffee sticks. I have some little creamer packets, little sugar packets, coffee filters, which have multiple use, uh, fire starter, bathroom necessity, or to filter when I try dandelion tea, pine needle tea, or just making camp coffee where there's going to be grinds. I have a coffee filter that I pour the liquid through to filter out any sediment or particles that I don't feel like drinking. Okay, so this particular tea is loaded with vitamin C that is everywhere you can find this information anywhere not medical advice I'm just telling you based on my research what is in a pine needle there is R many many antioxidants in a pine needle just as there are many green uh, vegetables and anything that's grown outside there's tons of phytonutrients in them because they are getting sun and nutrients from the soil now you can't use every type of pine tree. I would stick to red, white, and conifers. There's a list of pine trees. The yew tree, ponderosa pine, a.k.a. blackjack or west yellow. Norfolk Island pine, Monterey cypress pine, lodgepole pine, and probably a lot of 
others that cannot be used. I know that when you're outdoors camping, this is pine needle tea is very popular. One, it's a hot drink that's just not water boiled and any hot drink is soothing and comforting after a long day of hiking or camping or rain or cold or damp it just takes the edge off and makes you feel good the pine adds some flavor a little bit of scent and many many benefits against There are many videos out there extolling the virtues of this. Unfortunately, we all have to speak in a foreign language to try and get the message out, as I'm sure that the commies at the search engines and social media platforms that aren't on the same page that we are, will soon be taking care of all this. But how to make it, you saw, extremely easy. Pick some, <laughs> cut off the little brown parts. Some people throw them in a pot of water, bring it to a boil, let it set for five minutes. Some people put them in natural tea bags you can order online, put them in there, Throw that in it. Some people put them in after the water's boiling. It doesn't matter. It can make a little stronger or a little weaker drink based on your flavor. You're going to have to try it a few times until you figure out what you like best. And like I said, you can mix it with honey, sugar, cream, a little bit of cinnamon. It your choice. But... This is what it's really getting important for and those damn dogs shedding their hair everywhere. That you never know who you're coming in contact with. So that's what I'm trying to get across here. A little cryptic, but I hope Everybody gets where I'm going with it. But it does taste really good. And it's a good campfire elixir. So, hopefully I'm still here tomorrow to make another video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT, signing off.